bucket heads are being controlled by those statues. If we destroy them, we can break his control over them. SpongeBob, you've got enough Goofy Goober tokens for me to teach you a new ability. You have a special power that you can use. I, uh, do? Yes, you have the power of music. Two hundred fifty-seven and a half watts of ear-splitting metal! You can press R to launch a sonic wave from your guitar. This is the final move of the game, by the way, and definitely by far the best one. The power of music! Take the words right out of my mouth, SpongeBob. You can steer the sonic wave right to where you want it to hit. We did it, Mindy! We went to Shell City and got Neptune's crown! Oh, SpongeBob, I knew you could do it. But my father is already at the Krusty Krab 2 on the other side of Planktopolis. Oh no! There are bucket heads everywhere! How will we get through? I found out that Plankton is controlling the bucket heads using those giant statues. If we destroy them, we can break his control. Let's get it on! Hello guys, Multiclass Gamer here. Welcome to what is basically the final platforming level of the game, the the last hurrah. And obviously the the most challenging too of them all. And also it's the mo it's the level that that introduces SpongeBob's final move in the entire game. And so we have and we currently have 50 Goofy Cooper tokens and 30 treasure chests. So, we are ready to start the final platforming level of the game. Right after we do a bunch of backtracking. Yep, yep, that's right. We're doing it right now, y'all. We have a crap ton of stuff we have to go back and take care of before we can move on any further in the game. Because now, at this point, we have all the moves in the game. So that's why I am choosing now to go back and do everything that we could not do before. So that's why um, we're going to get started here. Now, first of all, um, uh, going in order of the levels of the game... We are missing two Goofy Goober tokens, and I'm Ray Depression. So, let's uh, get on over there. Okay, actually, what I'm gonna do here is uh, because actually, for both of these, both of these, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, Goofy Goober token missions, you actually need to be SpongeBob to get both of them. There's Up Chocolate Creek and a secret challenge I'm not going to reveal quite yet. But basically, you want to. Um, I need to get to the end of, end of the level, actually, in order to do what I'm planning on doing here. So, gee, how can I do that? Uh, I guess the best thing I can do is uh, warp to... Um, I don't know what to say about that. Yeah, I think I'll warp to Ounce of Bounce, so... I'll put us close to where I need to be. Basically, I need to get to the end of the level, so I'm going to have to, I guess, meet you guys there, I guess. Okay, wait, did I just... Did I seriously just phase through that spawner there? I swear I went straight through it as I was destroying it. But anyways, um, here we are. We are to back at the end of the level. And the reason why I, want be why I have to go here is because this is the only um, port ahead in the entire level. So you need to get back here, especially SpongeBob. So yes, we're now playing as SpongeBob in the, the, one of the levels where you're not supposed to play as him. Well, actually you are for a couple missions. And one of them is right up here. This, my friends, up here is a Sonic Wave Guitar Challenge. You cannot do these until you have SpongeBob's final move of the game, the Sonic Wave Guitar. Now, I haven't been able to show it to you yet, but I'm going to do it real quick. Basically, if you play Battle Horky Bomb, it is essentially the Cruise Bubble. That's all it is. It literally plays the exact same way. Except this time you press R, and then there you go. You're now controlling the, the wave, and you get five seconds to you know hit your target. So this is basically what, what it's like before you upgrade it. Now, the cool thing about this move, however, is that uh, when, before you upgrade it, is it functions exactly the same as the uh, Cruise Bubble and Battle for Keep On. However, as you may know, in this game, you can upgrade moves. So we're going to upgrade SpongeBob's final move, Sonic Wave, and let's see what it does. It's the same guitar, but with the Goofy Cooper logo on it. When, when upgrade allows SpongeBob's Macho Sonic Wave to th home in on its target, press R to home in on the current target. So basically, it's uh, not only does it sound different, it's 
sounds a lot more cool, but also, you can actually home in on targets, but that's not important for Sonic Wave Guitar Challenges. So, what are Sonic Wave Guitar Challenges, you're probably wondering. Well, basically, remember those rings we had to go through in the Spongeboard and Paddy Wagon levels? Well, just think of it as that, except instead you're going through them as a Sonic Wave. So yes, that's how you do them. Fly through the Sonic Wave through all the rings. The Sonic Wave will be launched automatically when the challenge begins. Are you ready to take the challenge? Yes, we are. So we're going to, um, we're going to accept it here. Now, do not move the control stick until SpongeBob launches the guitar, the the guitar wave. I found out the hard way that if you do that, SpongeBob will move because there is actually like a tenth of a second, maybe less than that, where you can actually move. SpongeBob before um, he wa launches the Sonic Wave, so be careful about that. But in that, once once to, once to, once you begin the challenge, just fly through the rings and you're all good. Not only that, but uh, these challenges are made possible. In fact, when you fly through rings, uh, each time you fly through a ring, the timer resets at six. Okay, apparently it's six seconds, not five. Yeah, it starts at six seconds. This one is actually pretty short, and it's also the shortest ring challenge of the game. That's what I was talking about when I was saying in a. Uh, Google eyes and smelly knickknacks that, that it is not the shortest ring challenge. This is the shortest one with 25 rings. Only 25 rings to go through. In fact, it's already over right there. It ends when you hit the target at the end there. And, as soon as that happens, you get your Goofy Goober token. Alright. So that is one of three Sonic Wave guitar challenges in the game. The second one is a bubble blowing baby hunt. But, however, we are not quite, we're still not done yet with, Goofy, with, uh, uh, what, what's my, jeez, uh, I'm Ray Depression, geez, okay. So we're not quite done with I'm Ray Depression. We need to get to Chocolate Creek. You might not know where that is, but you'll know it once you see it. We actually uh, saw, got to see it. Oh, shoot. I, I thought I could make that jump, but apparently I couldn't, okay. Well, I guess we'll have to make it the long way. But basically, um, we got to see pretty much the whole level when we were doing that Sonic Wave Guitar Challenge. So we saw uh, Chocolate Creek, obviously, but um, basically it's not that far in the level, so I'm gonna go ahead and talk as I go there. Um, now, the Up Chocolate Creek mission, um, you also cannot do until... Well, I don't know. I think there's actually another way you can do it. I think you can do it with Patrick as well. Um, basically, but... Okay. So, in order to do the Up Chocolate Creek mission, you need either Patrick's uh, Macho Throw Move or SpongeBob's Macho Sonic Wave Guitar. Basically, how it works is... Um, this is Chocolate Creek right here. This is where the mission is. Uh, let's get these Emmys out of our way real quick. Um, yeah, might as well destroy the spawner while we're at it. Okay. Okay. Now, see those four buttons right there? You have to hit those all simultaneously in order to, uh, get the mission to work. Or get the mission started. Or access it, more like, actually. So what you do is, you pull get your Sonic Wave guitar going, and then hit R, and it will home in on one of them, but in the process, it'll hit all four of them at once. I don't know how that works, but that's how it works. That's how you access this mission. And so with that, it will cause three platforms to rise up, and it will open that door, granting access to the challenge. But again, I think you can do this with uh, Patrick's Macho Throw Move, because if you hit, if, if you use Patrick's Macho Throw Move, it's going to, um, because you may have noticed before when I was doing the Macho Throw Move, it was actually, um, it was uh, creating tiny little shockwaves whenever Patrick's uh, Macho Guru move hit something. So that shockwave is what will press all four buttons at once. So anyways, right here we have sort of a... Uh, I guess the closest thing to, to compare this to in Battle for Key Bomb is like the... It's like the mission where you're in Spongebob's stream and you're going through uh, Squidward's stream. Yeah, that mission. This is the closest I can compare I can make to Battle for Key Bomb as far as this mission is concerned. But instead, this time you also have this uh, this blade that's running across the, the marshmallows. So you have to be careful. I think those are marshmallows, or it could be ice cubes. I don't know. Whatever they are, we did it. We got a Goofy Goober token. And that, my friends, is I'm Ready Depression 100% complete. It's weird that you can't complete the first platforming level of the game until you get the final move of the game, but whatever. Alright, so that is 52 Goofy Goober tokens, and now... We're gonna head off to Bubble Blowing Baby Hunt. We're missing three Goopy Cooper tokens and one treasure chest there. Um, we're gonna start with uh, Throwing Fruit Electric. Now you may know may know that the other uh, 
mission that I'm missing there is the combat arena challenge, which I skipped because I was in the middle of getting that treasure chest that requires you to destroy all those enemies in those barrels in one try and get to the treasure chest before dying. So it seemed more worth it just to wait until now to do that particular um, mission. So we're going to do that since we're done with this. But here we are, throw for electric. Uh, okay, uh... What's weird about this is that when you warp to the mission, it actually takes care of the first button for you. Like, it gets you past the first button automatically. But, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and just, just go ahead and just go back to where it actually starts, just to... You know, because I know not all people are gonna be warping straight to it. There's gonna be, you know, probably tra traveling to it. And then basically just make the screen warp here, and then it takes you up straight up here. To where the mission itself warps you to. Um... But yeah, this mission can actually actually becomes quite a bit harder um, once you get the Macho Throw move. Basically, you're trying you have to press those buttons. That's your ultimate goal here. Um, but if you accidentally do the Macho Throw move, then Patrick will immediately destroy the throw fruits, which will cause you to have to start over. There's like three segments to this, to this mission, and they get progressively harder because you. Basically, you have to get to you have to bring the throw fruit with you to those uh, those foot pads, and you have to step on stand on it and then hit the the button with the with the throw fruit. That's basically how this mission works. You have to do that three times, and then you get the Goofy Goober token. So we've already finished two segments. Right there is your treasure chest. You can only access the treasure chest from this mission. Um, you should be able to get back up to on these platforms after getting the treasure chest. So I'm gonna try that. There we go. Oh. Careful. Want we'll to be very careful here. You don't want to die in the middle doing the throw for electric mission. Trust me. Yeah, Patrick will grab onto the ledge so that way he can continue on here. Okay, this is where it gets really, really challenging. Even after all my all my years of playing this game, I still struggle a lot with this particular segment right here with throw for electrics. But we'll see if we can do it. As you can see, this uh, flat platform right here is an automatic target that that Patrick can hit. Okay, I'll be. It would be amazing if I get this on the first try. Please. Please, 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 please. Oh my god, I did it. I can't believe I got that in the first try. It is not that easy. I promise you, it is not that easy. You will likely struggle when you do this mission, so... Just... But if you manage to get this on the first try, I... All power to you. Alright. So I think with all the cutting I've had in this episode, I'm going to go ahead and go to the Combat Arena Challenge and get that over with, because it has been waiting ever since, like, what, Episode 7 or 8 for us to get done? So I'm going to meet you guys there. Well, actually, you know what? I could just fall right down to it. Yeah, I can. Duh. There we go. So let's get a move on here. Let's do our Combat Arena Challenge. It's probably the only loading screen you guys will see. Um, but basically, this this uh, Combat Arena Challenge features enemies from Now That We're Men. So. If I had done this uh, during my initial run of Bubble and Baby Hunt, it would have spoiled the enemies of, you know, the trench level, now that we're men. So, now we're fighting these guys all over again. Obviously, they're easier than what we're uh, prepared to deal with in, uh, in uh, Welcome to Playing Topless Minion. So, we're going to... Uh, we should be able to breeze straight through this. I don't really struggle with this, this particular one anywhere near as much as the as the one now that we're meant. But seriously, I have no idea how I managed to get that on the first try. I swear I've never done it before. Maybe I, maybe I have. I just have poor memory, but I don't know. Now, the final upgrade of the game that you have, including uh, Krabby Patties and uh, and move upgrades, um, you will access when you have 35,000 manliness points. So as you can see, my next upgrade is at 31,000. After that, the next requirement is going to be 35,000. And once you reach 35,000 manliness points, you will have access to every upgrade in the entire game. So that's basically how that goes. Um, after you hit uh, 35,000, um, your next goal on that bar is going to be 99,999. And I will tell you right now, it is not worth it to go for 99,000. You might be thinking you're going to get like some special uh, reward or something because it does take a very very long time to get that get that many manliness points. Trust me. Um, it takes so much grinding. It's ridiculous. So even if there was something special um, that you can get 99,000 get for 99,000 or 10. Okay, I'm just going to say 100,000 manliness points. 
uh, it still wouldn't be worth it for all the time it takes to... Well, it depends on what it is, but still. Um, I'll just say right now, there is no prize whatsoever for getting, 90, for getting 100,000 manliness points. There is no prize at all. I have seen video evidence of this, so I know that there, for a fact, there is no uh, prize for doing so. I've never gotten 100,000 manliness points in any file myself, but I can definitely... But since I know that there is no reward for doing so, it's not worth it. I just, I just never go for it. So with that explained, y'all, let's finish this off here. We still got one more wave, though, I think. Yep, one more wave, and we're done here. All right, what do you got for me, game? Uh, perfect moment for take a sip, take a slug of water, I suppose. Okay. Now I could use the Sonic Wave guitar here, but it's really—I don't think it's really worth. It. I don't think it even works on flingers, does it? I don't really have an opportunity to check here because I got all this crap coming, all this crap flying towards me, so I wouldn't have any chance to do so. It'd leave me vulnerable to attack, so I can't can't really do that right now. I could wait until I'm down to one flinger, I suppose, but that would, but, he'd, but that would have to be like the only enemy around. Okay. Now, as you can see, you got like a bunch of uh, TNT barrels here. If you want to, you can use them to. You can like uh, destroy these ones that are top on top of uh, regular crates, and you can use that to damage the flingers if there ha to be any floating above them, which typically there are because they are stupid enough to pull above them or whatever. I digress. It's the only vulnerable spot of uh, flingers is their is their buttocks. Is buttocks is even a word? I know buttocks is something people say, but I don't know about buttocks. You know the plural version of it, whatever. Whatever. I guess that's the common question of today. So, I'm just kidding. Did any, does anyone, any, do any of my viewers like uh, ever? Okay, any of you guys who watch my videos, have you ever watched Ray William Johnson? I used to back in the day, back when he was, back when he was a thing. Because I don't think he makes videos anymore. At least, at least not the original creator. I think there's like a new uh, creator there, or like a new person doing the videos or something. I have no idea. Either way, I know he. Uh, the guy himself doesn't make the videos anymore. But, uh, either way, um, that is gonna be it for today's episode, y'all. Sorry we didn't get too much done here. We still got the last, we still got that, uh, Sonic Wave Guitar Challenge of Blah 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 and Baby Hunt, but I digress. Um, I will see you guys next time for some more SpongeBob SquarePants movie where we will take on the, uh, Sonic Wave Guitar Challenge of, uh, Blah 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 and Baby Hunt. And then we move on to other levels, such as, uh, I think next after this is, yep, now that we're men. We've got three treasure chests there, and one Goofy Group token missing. And Shell City Dead Ahead, we have a Sonic Wave Guitar Challenge there, as well as one treasure chest. And I think that's it, before uh, going back to Welcome to Plank Topless Minion. So, yes, uh, we should be able to finish, maybe, uh, I don't know, it's kind of iffy if we'll finish the, uh, we should be able to finish the uh, backtracking next, in next episode, but I don't know. We'll find out next time. See you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.